Thank you all for checking out the channel. And while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to keep up with all of my shenanigans. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce, I am your Runner Runner, and welcome to Operation Homefront Leatherback 3. Look for yellow. Myself and Echo team, full of familiar faces from the channel, are charged with getting a computer to Kilo site so we can establish communications. Once that is completed, we are then to go over to MASH Site 1 and attempt to gain control over that point. Our enemy has been fighting us hard, and we have suffered many casualties today. I'm getting a high point that's only gonna help me. Right now, our enemy is moving from the southwest, attempting to cut us off from Kilo Site and MASH-1. At this point, I decide to go to the south ridge of the gully in order to provide some support and overwatch for my team, as well as get some long shots in with Nightmare, my M14 DMR. In the forests of Colorado, there are a lot of trees and branches and things to definitely get in the way and block the BBs. Something I am learning very, very quick. Sweet, two down. Give it. All right, they are moving to the right. They are trying to take the ridge on the north side. They're going for superiority. <sighs> Guys, they're moving north. They're moving north hard. They saw me. At this point, I am doing my best to not give away my position with any really quick movements or any loud stomping of my feet. However, my heavy breathing may not be helping me. <laughs> Ross, you are directly to my right. What do you see? I can hear where it's coming from, but I can't fucking see it. Whew. 
Contact on my side, contact on my side of the ridge. Contact up here on my side of the ridge to the left of both Rosses. I was not able to confirm whether or not I hit that player, however a dead grag was out. So the player was downed, but I do not believe that I hit them, therefore I am not going to edit that into the footage. I'm coming up the ridge behind you guys. Where's our contact at? I have crossed over the gully to regroup with Echo Team and engage the enemy with them. In the gully. See that little spot in the tree? No. The gully. No. I do not. No, that is our raft. Oh, shit, that's right. Okay, I need a good call out. Cameron, where are you at? No, one guy about 80 yards out. Sniper or DMR? No, DMR. He's gone, though. He got pushed back. Where? I need to be able to get a guy up here to kill these two guys over here. Where? I got him. He's dead. I need someone to push up and heal those guys. I need a squad to heal up there. No, 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 wait for it, wait for it. Make sure you get some cover. You can push up. I need someone to put up. Yeah, um, who is up there? Hey, let's push up. Push up. Echo! I go in 10, push up. Pick Camera. Pick a piece of cover in front of you and get to it. Pick a piece of cover and get to it. Oh wait, they're healed. They're dead, Cameron, they're dead. I see a dead drag. Can you guys both heal or do you need to do that? Take a drop, take a drop. Take a drop. Take a drop. I hear voices, but I see no bodies. Big Red, give me an eye, give me eyes. Can I reach him from where you are? Point me in a direction. Right to your left. To my left. You see the guy who's down? No. To the right of him, 10 feet, about 20, 30 yards past him. No, no visual on enemy down. At this point, I have trouble identifying targets. My team is engaging them actively and pushing our enemy back. I am doing my best to attempt to find a good location to post up and begin assisting my team. Keep in contact, 10 feet to the right. No visual, no visual, no visual. Cameron's right up here. Okay, take, take your time, take your time, you're good. No, 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 you're good. Take a breather. That was a nice, uh, nice job you did there. I expect you to get up there and just drop behind him and use him as a shield. And heal him right there? Yeah. Don't pull him? I would have stayed right there and healed him because you guys had the trees. What about our other buddy? Is he alive? I do not believe that that's a guy. I identified a tree as an enemy and decided I was going to take that tree out. 
I believe I successfully hit the tree. However, it didn't call its hit, so screw you, tree. <laughs> screw you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I made myself laugh on that one. <laughs> Nightmare, for those of you who are not aware, is an extraordinarily heavy airsoft replica. Not the heaviest out there, but definitely heavier than anything I'm used to running. So the bipod, in many instances, was really nice for two reasons. One, to post it up and give my arm a rest, and two, when I was just being lazy and, well, needed to set it down for a second. It also helped to keep my muzzle out of the ground in many instances. So, yay for bipods on heavy replicas. kind of a magazine? Black skull talk. Oh, no. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Cameron, I got nothing, dude. I got no eyes. I believe I just downed that enemy. Yeah, I see it. Tic Tac, where are you? Oh shit, we have two medics? Where? Point me out where the dead bodies are. I know both those motherfuckers. Huh. Where? Yeah, I see him. Did I get him? Okay, I got him. Repeat that, repeat that. Bad transmission, repeat that. Okay, here they come. Can you see him? On the left, on the left. The enemy is coming in hard and fast. They are using their buddy medics, of which they have one, and they are using their medic revives, of which there is no limit. Okay, no visual right here. They're right behind that fucking tree. Yeah, move to the right a little bit. Might be better. Okay, no, they're dead. They are dead. Fuck, I need good visual between these trees. I cannot tell if he's getting medicked. Okay, what is that guy doing? He's just sitting up. Here he is, over here on the right. Is he dead? No, he is not. Okay. You just got runner, runner! No, I am! <laughs> that would be Krieger the Viking. He is on Instagram and posts some fantastic pictures. And he is also an amazing player as well as an amazing human being. So I would suggest you guys go follow him on Instagram. That's Krieger the Viking. And I just smoked him. But he also ambushed me later that day, so, you know, it evened out. <laughs> How about in this back? How about down low? Don't get. Skull frog? Okay, somebody found it. Really? But I don't remember where they were. Alright. Wait, wait, was that you asking for one? Wait, 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 behind the dead. Behind the dead. See him? 
about 20, 30 feet. Negative. Okay, how about to our right? They're getting healed. Okay. Okay. Nope, do not shoot. Never mind, that is the dead guy. That is the dead guy. Okay, on our right. About, about right. Yeah, you're pointing in kind of the right direction. Got him, eyes on. He's moving up right. Moving up right side. We have people moving north from the gully. From the gully side. No, I don't. I know. Are you dead, Cameron? Do you need healed? You're dead? Oh, you're ghosting. Ghosting is the act that a player takes after they have been KIA and their five minute bleed out time is up. Once their five minute bleed out time is up, they're allowed to stay in the area and wait for their team to finish the engagement and follow them around without giving away their position. This is done so that way newer players to a Milsim style game can stay with their friends. The point of ghosting is to keep your team and your friends together. That way you don't get shot, have to walk back to respawn, and then roam around several miles of open land attempting to find your friends again. I think this is a fantastic mechanic, especially for newer players of the game. And although I'm not a new player, I liked it because I got to hang out with my buddies all day. So that's just a win in my book. Do you see them? Do you have visual? I just got loaded. Yeah. Mark up the flash lay it down. Isaac! This is your runner runner. How you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> Most of the green team forces have been pushed back, and we are now moving over to MASH 1. Time is running out for us to complete our objectives, and it is now time to give it our all in order to complete our mission. MASH 1 is just to my right. MASH 1 is to my right. Let's take MASH 1, that gives us a respawn point. Let's take MASH 1. It's got the medical flag. Somebody cover me. Where are they? Can you guys cover me? I want mass one. Here I decide to make a mad dash to mash one and attempt to cross an open field and a hell of a firefight. And as you can see here in just a moment, 
It did not work in my favor. Nightmare was on the ground behind me, watching the entire time, and I was able to catch my death in the lens of the scope. So let's see that from another angle. That is it for me for today's video. I do hope that you all enjoyed my footage of the gully battle from Operation Homefront Leatherback 3, hosted by Titan Milsim. This was such a fantastic day, and I hope you all enjoyed, and I look forward to seeing you all next time, right here on Runner Runner Airsoft.